Ladies and gentlemen, dogs and toys alike, welcome to the Holy Brick. I'm Luke and right now you are currently looking at my childhood. And if you don't already know what this is or you didn't read the title, this is Andy's room from Toy Story recreated entirely out of Lego. Now before we take a trip down nostalgia lane, be like Buzz Lightyear and smash that red button. And while it's not on your chest, it's right below the video and by pressing it, you'll stay up to date on all the Lego stuff I do on this channel and it also helps me to keep doing what I'm doing. But without further ado, to infinity and beyond! So I designed this set as more of a collector's item for teens and adults who grew up with the movies, rather than as a playset for kids like many of the official LEGO Toy Story sets were. And that's the reason why I gave it this kind of 18 plus diorama vibe with the black border surrounding it. Onto the room itself, one of the main things I wanted to nail in this mock was the iconic cloudy sky wallpaper. I accomplished this by simply attaching these unikitty cloud pieces to the sky blue walls with snot bricks. We also have a poster hanging on Andy's wall that says, I want you to join Space Rangers. And it also has a Buzz Lightyear pointing a demanding finger at you. You get it? Like Uncle Sam? The movie accurate hardwood floor is completely tiled off, and it also has this little blue accent rug. Sitting on top of the rug is this little etch-a-sketch, and I'm actually pretty proud of how few pieces it uses. And it is, of course, the one that draws Al the Chicken Man. Draw that man in a chicken suit. <laughs> it's the Chicken Man! Probably the most iconic piece of furniture in Andy's room is the Old West themed wagon toy chest. When designing this toy chest, I had two choices. I could either make it able to open and uglier, or go purely for looks and make it less functional. And since this is more of a display piece, I decided to go for the pretty option, and I'm pretty sure it paid off. I use these wood tiles as the wagon wheels and everything else is basically just plates and bricks. Since this is a bedroom, of course, there has to be a bed, and it's pretty straightforward, it's a bed. But I love the blue bed sheets and the curved wood frame, however, under the bed there are a few easter eggs. First, we have an ace from a deck of cards that Woody hallucinates about falling into in Toy Story 2. Don't ask, just go watch the movie. And a snake that probably crawled out of Woody's boot. Next to the bed, we have this pretty recognizable white dresser with a few easter eggs on the top. First off, closest to the bed, we have a little teddy bear of Lotso. Now if you don't know who that is, he's the main villain of Toy Story 3, and he also smells like strawberries. And finally, we have one green army man at the top, and a few that have parachuted down and are now on the floor. Sad that they left a man behind. Right above the dresser is this little shelf, and up here we have Wheezy the Penguin from Toy Story 2, who was put up there because he's broken. R.I.P. Wheezy. Next to him we have a tiny toy version of the Pizza Planet truck, since of course the Pizza Planet truck shows up in every single Pixar movie, and I actually also built a slightly larger minifigure scale Pizza Planet truck. Comment below if you'd like to see a video about that. And next to it we have a tiny toy Lightning McQueen. The minifigures include Buzz and Woody, of course, and Jesse since they are the three main characters. I decided to use the newer 2019 minifigures instead of the ones from 2010, however these could easily be swapped or mismatched and I have all the 2010 minifigures right here. We also have Rex and Ham the Piggy Bank, and why not throw Bo Peep in there for good measure? But I just love these characters so much and they bring so much joy to my 5 year old heart. This is probably one of my favorite mocks that I've ever done since it meant so much to me as a kid and I still absolutely love the movies to this day. If Toy Story was a huge part of your childhood like it was mine, or you just enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like down below and let me know how much the movies meant to you in the comments. And if you would like to help me to keep making LEGO videos just like this, be sure to hit that red subscribe button down below. But for now, I'm Luke, and you're watching The Holy Brick. And until next time, so long, partner. You, you, you.